What's up guys, Chevron here, back with a new video. In today's episode, I'll be showing you guys my favorite or top 25 tweaks part 2. I've seen that you guys liked the previous video, so I've decided to create another one. First up on the list guys, we have this tweak called Androids. What Androids does is that it gives users the experience that any Android user would experience. So as you can see right there, we have the action tab, we have the back button, home button, and the multitask button. So let me just show you guys how the back button works. Once you're in an app, it won't work once you open another app. As you can see me doing in a second. So I jump into the notes app and I hit the back button, it will jump back to the settings app. And that's an Android-like feature. And you don't have to use your home button because there's also a home button on screen. But the one problem I have with the action bar is that it overlaps onto the screen itself. It doesn't <coughs> sorry. It doesn't shrink the screen or anything. It just overlaps on it so it'll take over your keyboard. So I would recommend you guys using this tweak. I mean using that part of the tweak. Another cool thing you have is a mini player. It's a simple widget that allows you to control your music from anywhere. It contains album art, scrolling, song and album titles, along with play, pause, previous track and next track buttons. You can press the album art to go to no playing app and double tap anywhere on the mini player widget to push it over to the right side of the screen. As you can see, I did that earlier. And as you can see again, the action bar is still overlapping on the apps, which is very inconvenient. So that's the mini player. Another tweak in this Android tweak itself is called Anten Alternate Notification Center. At the top we have contact settings and battery. If you tap any of those, it will jump straight to those settings itself. What this does, it contains various toggles with labels. When press, it will take you to the respective preference pane in the setting app. It also includes a brightness slider and redesign notifications as well as a clear all notifications button at the bottom so but i'll advise you guys if you hit that note um clear all button it will crash your device so don't hit that button <coughs> sorry so um don't hit that button as yet and we also have a power menu it's a pop-up menu that can replace the stop power down screen it includes options to power down toggle airplane mode respin and reboot an alert will show and ask you if you want to respring and all that good stuff another tip we have there for you guys is called anchor what anchor does is that you get to put apps anywhere you want on your springboard which is very cool so if you want to create a nice design that's how i get to put the google tab at the bottom i just move everything over to the other side As you can see I have a bouncy notification at the bottom with that bouncy notification if you're wondering that's called harbor what this does is give you a Mac feel and Mac notification thing like when you're on the Mac and you have a notification the dot bounces so that's what harbor does another cool tweak I have for you guys coming up next is call bar all right what Carbar does now is that it redesigns the incoming call view to allow your user device when it's ringing. You can answer the client or yeah, you can answer the client or ignore a message while in the application. So for example, you're playing Pokemon Go and you get a call, it won't take over the whole phone system. Another cool tweak to enhance the look and the feel of your iDevice is called color banners. What this does is that the banners, instead of being red for everything, it adapts to the app icon color and gives the phone a good feel, a good look of... It just gives a good look. It's better than the, the bold red color for everything. One of my favorite tweaks right now is called One Hand Wizard. I'll show you guys how this works in a few. So if you're typing with an iPhone 6 Plus, you know that this can be a pain in 
the ass not literally guys don't say that literally <laughs> but you can activate it by using an activation activate adjuster as you can see and it depends on your hand you can switch the different hand you hold it in and it will make it one hand useful or one hand you can use it in one hand easily it, it reduces it to like an iPhone 4 screen and you can easily use it with one hand another favorite tweak is double cut what this does is that you can enter your email address anywhere you say email address you double tap on the at bar and you're good to go another one of my favorite tweaks is called swipe selection pro and what this does is that it's a new way to edit text on iOS using gestures on the keyboard to move the cursor and select text. You just swipe across the screen instead of holding it down, trying to use that magnifying glass, which is really stupid. I don't know why Apple have that, but anyways, we we'll leave Apple to Apple. Another good tweak is called Multi Mover Plus. If you have Multi Icon Mover Plus, if you have a ton of apps, I need to do select them. Go to the page you want the apps to go on and just hit the home button. If you want to select a folder and you want to go inside the folder, you double tap the folder, come out, go to your next page, hit the home button, all the apps will be there. Instead of moving them one by one, Apple really need to integrate this into iOS 10. I mean, why do they want to make life hard for us? Just make life easy. So that's how you use multi icon mover. You can go into the settings pane and adjust all the settings to your liking. So up next we have BioProtect. This basically protect your apps with touch ID passcode and it's the most secure and yet fastest way to protect your applications presented with a very cool UI element when doing so. So as you can see I'm in the multi tab and it even blocks out the photos app before you go into the photos app so that's a good touch another tweak i have for you guys is called photo size what this does is that it tells you how much megabytes you're deleting once you select that photo so you can know if you're really going to get enough space instead of deleting that photo that you surely loved so much another cool tweak that go with this is for the iphone 6 and below users called live photos what this does is integrated it integrates the live photos from the success onto the 6 which is really good and since we're in the cameras app i'll show you live photos in a bit so as you can see right there it's enabled right now Another cool tweak to go with this is called record and pause. It brings Android like features. If you're recording a video, you can simply double tap the status bar up there and you pause the video, you touch it again, it resumes your video. So that's record pause for you. One of my favorite tweaks that I actually purchased is called I Caught You Pro. What this does is that if someone tries to enter the password on your iDevice, you can set how much attempts they want to get it will take a picture of them using your front camera it will text you and send it to your email along with their e um, street address where the where the passcode was taken from I don't know if that makes sense to you guys but I'll show you in a bit see if you go into my email you can see the picture right there location and everything I won't show you the picture because I'm very ugly so I won't show you that Another cool tweak is called Breadcrumb 10, plugged in straight from iOS 10. It just gives the iOS 10 breadcrumb um, appearance onto your iOS 9 device. Up next, I have local AP store from the BioTier Apple Repo. What this does is that it gives free in-app purchases for majority of the apps on the App Store. Trust me, not all of them work, but majority of the top popular games work, except Pokemon Go. iOS 10 keyboard sound brings the iOS 10 keyboard sound to iOS 9. It's very, I mean, it's self-explanatory. I don't think I need to explain this to you guys. It just brings the iOS 10 keyboard sound. My another favorite tweak is called Zeppelin. 
what Zeppelin does is that it changes your carrier text to whatever icon you choose it to be. So right now I'm in a Pokemon Go fever, so I have Eevee up there. And it doesn't come with all these Pokemon themes, you have to install themes. You, can, you have a variety of different, millions of different themes, themes you can install from Cydia. But the basic ones it comes with is like the Nike sign, Iron Man, Superman, Cloud, Android, Dark Knight, Infinity logo, all that good stuff. I'll call this a bonus tweak, I got it from everything Apple Pro. It's called, I think, a reader. I, I can't even pronounce it, but it's a lock screen tweak, it's very cool. Also, along with Lock Glyph plus Pokemon theme. So if you guys like this video, please give it a thumbs up down below. Check out my other videos. And as always, as I have to say, look at me.